Hello everyone, today is October 16th, 2020. I wanted to make this short video here to give my opinion on this video. Should a Christian even vote? This is Pastor Greg. I'm sure many of you have listened to him. And in this video, he basically says it's irresponsible not to vote. And so what I said was, didn't Jesus say come out of the world, meaning separate ourselves from the world? Think about what Jesus Christ would do. We are to work hard day by day to be more like Jesus Christ. My vote is for Jesus. And somebody just said four minutes ago, cringe. In other words, cringe to my comment. Two people liked my comment. But as you can see, a lot of pastors and a lot of people are trying to turn our eyes off Jesus Christ. And the Bible is an example. And Jesus Christ was an example. He came to the earth to be an example and to die for our sins so that we could be saved. In 1 Peter, 1 Peter 2, 21, it says, there's different ways to put it. New King James, for to this you were called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. New Living Translation, for God called you to do good, even if it means suffering. Just as Christ suffered for you, he is your example, and you must follow in his steps. There's different ways to say it here, but basically, Jesus came, he suffered for us, he died on the cross for our sins, and we are to follow in his steps. So, would Jesus Christ vote if he was here today on the earth? In my opinion, he wouldn't. Why wouldn't Jesus Christ vote? Well, it tells us right here in 1 John. 1 John 2, verses 15 through 17. Do not love the world. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world... The love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and pride of life, pride of life, voting, being in the world, going out and enjoying yourself, that kind of stuff. The pride of life is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world is passing away along with its desires, but whoever does the will of God abides forever. So right here, it explains that we, as Christians, if we love God, we are not to be of the world. We are to separate ourselves from the world. Why? Because Satan works hard every single day to take our eyes off Jesus Christ and what he did for us. And the demons, they work hard accusing us, telling us that Jesus is not real, uh, that God's not real, that there's no hell, there's no heaven. I see it every day in the comments. And, you know, I still think, in my opinion, that if Christ was living on the earth today, walking the earth, I mean, if he was walking the earth today, and they told him that he has to vote, I think that he would say, no, I'm not voting. My eye is on God. I am not of this world because it's passing away. That's what I believe he would say. In Colossians chapter 2, verse 8, it says right here, See to it that no one takes you captive by philosophy and empty deceit according to a human tradition. Voting for President Trump is human tradition. 
other things that you see going on out there as human tradition. According to the elemental spirits of the world and not according to Christ. So they are working very hard every day to try and take our eyes off Jesus Christ and what he did for us. And they're doing a good job because they are brainwashing people, telling people that you need to vote. You have to because the Democrats are going to take over our country if you do not vote. You know, like he said, like it says in the Bible, the earth is passing away. It's passing away. A new world order is going to come into play no matter what. God's will is going to be done no matter what. It is all foretold in the Bible. Jesus Christ suffered, and he won. He rose again on the third day, just like he said he would. And those who believe in Christ, it says right here, the world is passing away with its desires, but whoever does the will of God abides forever. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So if you love the world, if you love human tradition, the love of the Father is not in you because you are believing the deceit. You are believing the lies. You are believing Congress and, and every, everything else, President Trump and all of them who say that you have to vote, that you have to, because if you don't, the Democrats will take over. It goes both ways. I don't know if you guys have seen the past history. Democrats rule for a while, and then the Republicans rule for a while, and then it goes back to the Democrats, and it goes back to the Republicans. It's been going on like this for a long time. It doesn't matter if you vote or not. It's already rehearsed. It's already going to be the way they want it to be. Not the way we want it to be, but they're doing a good job acting and brainwashing people. I vote for Jesus Christ. I do not vote for human tradition. I do not vote for what they tell me to do. I don't. And I'm very, very um, sad that Pastor Greg is telling people that it's irresponsible if you do not vote because he is leading people in the wrong direction. I'm not telling you guys not to vote. I'm just telling you guys to think about what Jesus Christ would do. Think about that they are trying to turn your eyes off Jesus Christ. They are trying to take your eyes off God. Read the Bible, read the scriptures that I just showed you, Colossians 2.8, 1 John 2.15-17, um, even in Corinthians, it says right here in 1 Corinthians 7.31, those who use the things of the world should not become attached to them, for this world, as we know, it will soon pass away. And 1 Peter tells you to walk like Christ. He suffered for us, and we are to walk in his footsteps. Think about all those scriptures that I just showed you. Make your own decision what you want to do. But in my opinion, Jesus Christ would not vote. They are trying to turn your eyes off Jesus Christ. Thank you for clicking in. Have a wonderful day and stay safe out there.